old, sometimes we're bound for Spain. Heave away, me jollies, heave away. But now we're bound for old St. John's, where all the girls are dancing. Heave away, me jolly boys, we're all bound away. Rats beer review! All right. I've had this before. Uh, this is IPA Your Way. Well, technically, I have not had this before. IPA Your Way. Indian Pale Ale. Uh, was brewed by the Hot Butcher in collab with Half Acre. It was a 7.0 ABV Hop with Citrus, Simcoe, Armorilla, plus Phantasma. That was last can September 1st, 2021. Again, that was Hot Butcher, brewed it in Darien out of Miskatonic at the time. In collab with Half Acre. This is IPA Your Way. is a Half Acre Hop Butcher collaboration. So this is brewed by Half Acre. You can clearly see the Hot Butcher, butcher can. I don't know, what would that be? That would be on your left. Am I right? Wait. Yeah. Yes. So my left and your left, my right, your right. So this is a half acre one they just dropped. It's going to be an August brew ski. So every August they're gonna drop this. Uh, the Hot Butcher did tweet out, uh, now you can get Hot Butcher at anywhere you buy beer. Um, I know Half Acre has a larger distribution. Maybe that's what they were talking about. I don't know. I think that's what they're talking about here. So this is IPA Way, a hop or a half acre collaboration with Hop Butcher Indian Pale Ale 7.5, not 7.0. This is going to be brewed out of uh, in August, it sounds like. And this is with Citra Spectrum. Citra, Simcoe, Cashmere, and HBC 586. Double dry hopped Indian Pale Ale. That sounds like a totally different beer. Maybe it tasted similar to this collab. Maybe they loved the can. I don't know what's going on here, but it happened. So uh, Half Acre said this first brewed as a collaboration with Hot Butcher for the World. Juicy, lush, dry hopped, hazy golden IPA that flips all available levels to maximum tropical pineapple and sweet passion fruit citrus. Sounds like a delicious one we got here. Wish I still had one of these. I have some old, old uh, beers in my uh, fridge. I searched for this. I could not find it. I do not have any more. Uh, I have an original review of IPA Your Way. I will put it in the description. Let's get a little bit of a nerds on it. Sorry for wasting three minutes of your time. My goodness. All right, I'm not really smelling anything on the top. Simcoe, maybe. Maybe a little citrus, right? Or am I getting that wrong? I gotta look, see, I gotta look at the cans now. Yeah, no, there is no, yeah, Simcoe and Citra. All right. Time for a P-G-N! Not crazy hazy. on it from that horrible pour but you guys get a gander well i get another nose <laughs> whoa something way different on the bottom hbc maybe citrus spectrum cashmere this smells like it's going to be an absolutely delicious single ipa double dry hopped in case you don't know dry hopped is when they can after they cool the brew down, they throw in hops, let it mingle um, to get an intense hoppier flavor from whichever hops they chose to do so. You know, some of these hops they might have just dry hopped in there. I'm not. I'm, I don't know. But Joey, wow. 
nothing. None of the hops smacked me in the face there. Tropical. I can't pick a, a distinctive citrus there. This is sweet. This is a good brewski. Now, I don't know what the August means. Uh, if they're just going to drop once in August or distribute it weekly. I don't know what that means. This is good. Everything's subtle. It's not heavy. They're hiding at 7.5. Wow. That dry hop is there, but it's... Wow, you get intense hoppiness. I just can't pick out the specific hop. There's no familiarity to it. This is good. I would say tropicals nailing it. Pineapple, passion fruit, maybe a smoothie. I mean, there's bitterness in the back of the tongue, but it's just as you pour it and then it's gone. I would, I mean, I'm definitely, I, I feel like there's a little bit of a, there's a familiarity to the flavor and the profile. It's almost, I don't want to say candy orange, um. like kid flavor orange maybe like I see oh there was another one that tasted just like that was that uh the juice is loose I think I had hmm this is a good beer all right I don't know if I should rate this with the uh, hot butcher ratings oh I mean I guess I could because I just have a whole month to go get it. Definitely getting another four pack. So that means I'm chasing it. Am I going to bring it to Pound Town? Now, Pound Town, you're scared you're going to miss it. So you're going to go the next day. With this, if I got a whole month, you know, I'm at the liquor store. I see it. Maybe I grab it. So I don't know if Pound Town, maybe Pound Town should be taken out of it and the top dog should be chasing it i'm definitely chasing it let's leave it there i'm chasing this for the month this is gonna be a month chaser as far as juice bomb category it's right there i would say the mouthfeel not so much uh that double dry hopness puts a whole different element to it but it's del this is a delicious beer I'm sorry, I'm sh I'm shocked. I'm letting this one go way over. I'm crazy. So I gave that last IPA away 4.5. I don't think this tastes anything like that. I can't really remember. It was over a year ago. I remember it was a delicious beer. So, and it was, I said it was um, green moss-esque with the stank, dank smell and stuff. So I'm not getting that at all. So this has to be a... A completely different beer, obviously. Uh, I explained that earlier. So I like that 4.5. I'm keeping it there. I'm not going to bring it to Pound Town because it's it's here for a month. But I'm chasing it. That's a high score. I'm giving. I'm calling this one a homer, home run. Let's bring it back to Heave Away IPA Your Way. Heave Away IPA Your Way. That was by the Fables. All right, I'm done. I got to close this out. <laughs> Rats Beer Review!